watched your video. I just watched your video about breastfeeding and uh, your period, and I thought that you made some very interesting points um, with regards to tracking your period. And I had never heard of the ferning pattern thing, so I was really excited to hear about that. Um, my experience with breastfeeding in my period is um, I haven't had one besides one. So I had one after I had her. Um, because I was exclusively pumping, and then once we started exclusively breastfeeding, I haven't had one since, and so I guess this will be the second cycle that um, hasn't shown up. So I'm looking forward to the uh, the not having a period, but I do know that, like you had mentioned in the video, you very well may have your period even if you're breastfeeding around the clock. I think one point that a lot of people overlook is you have to be breastfeeding exclusively and through the night on demand. So time feeding won't work. Um, what you know, if you if your baby sleeps from nine to eight, you know you're setting you're, you're not in the best position to to reap the benefits of that. And um, um, I knew that during lactation um, lactational amenorrhea or lactation induced amenorrhea that um, it's your body's natural form of birth control, so it would make sense that you are less likely to get pregnant. Uh, but I also know that there's a period of time after you have a baby that you're super fertile. Um, yay for all the Irish twins out there, you know. So um, I'm hoping that when my period returns that it's not as painful as it was before. I know that this last period I had wasn't painful at all, and um, I have endometriosis or suspected endometriosis rather. And so one of the courses of action that my doctor had Posed to me was getting pregnant, and while I didn't get pregnant in hopes to get rid of my endometriosis, it, it just seems like it will hopefully be an added benefit to uh, no longer have pain in your period. Um, I'm curious to know what form of natural plan family planning are you using, um, because I I know you talked about you know checking for the ferning and and whatnot, but I I guess I'm not familiar with that method, so I'd love to learn more about it if you could you know. Um, shoot me a message or, or, or comment on this to let me know. Um, and, you know, I don't know why it is that people think that, you know, every time you turn on a natural family plan, it's to, or track your ovulation um, is to, is because of trying to get pregnant. It is a very good way to not get pregnant. If you know when you're ovulating, yeah, it helps make your baby faster, potentially, but it also helps you keep from having a baby. So um, I'm really glad that your method seems to be working for you. I learned something that, that I would love to learn more about. And um, yay for talking about a real subject that people need to know about. Periods are not scary, and they happen. And so, you know, especially with breastfeeding, it's something that needs to be discussed so that people don't feel odd when their period doesn't return. Or if they have their periods, to know that that's typical and, and normal as well. So I really enjoyed watching your video. Thank you.